breaking news. The president of the United States tweets out a new video of himself as he spends a second night in the hospital. He says he's doing well, even as a senior official says there are concerns about his vital signs and that there's still not a clear path to a full recovery. The president's new video message suggesting he's in charge. I have to be back because we still have to make America great again. But may not be out of the woods. Over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. The president's doctor painting a much rosier picture, leading to more confusion. The team and I are extremely happy with the progress the president has made. CBS News has learned the president was given oxygen before flying to Walter Reed. So just how sick is the president? Aggressive treatments, the president on experimental drugs. What does that tell us about his condition? Super spreader event, more than seven people at the Rose Garden last Saturday have now tested positive. The latest, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. The urgent scramble to contact trace. COVID on Capitol Hill. The Senate Majority Leader says it's time for the Senate to clear out after three senators test positive. What this means for the confirmation battle over the Supreme Court nominee. 2020, America decides. Days from the VP debate, what's being done to keep the number two safe? And the former campaign rival hitting the trail for Joe Biden. NFL timeout. Another game called off after superstar quarterback Cam Newton tests positive. So what does it mean for the season? This is a special Their game called off after superstar quarterback Cam Newton tests positive. So what does it mean for the season? This is a special edition of the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening to our viewers in the West, and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin our special edition of the broadcast with breaking news tonight. President Trump is trying to convince Americans that he is getting better, tweeting out a four-minute video of himself at a desk at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, saying he feels good, but that the next few days are, quote, the real test. The president's video message comes after his own chief of staff told the Associated Press earlier today that President Trump is, quote, still not on a clear path to a full recovery after contracting coronavirus and that the next 48 hours will be critical in terms of his care. It has been a day of confusing and conflicting information from the White House and the president's doctor who laid out a timeline of when the president was diagnosed with the virus only to later say he was incorrect. Now what is clear tonight is that the president of the United States is now being aggressively treated for a deadly virus just 31 days before the election as the number of people around him who are now infected continues to grow. There's a lot of new reporting to get to tonight. Our team of correspondents is standing by to cover it all. CBS's Paula Reed is going to lead off our coverage tonight from the White House. Good evening, Paula. Good evening, Nora. After a day of mixed messages from this White House, President Trump decided to take control of the narrative by releasing his own video speaking directly to the American people. It's the first time we've seen him in treatment. Uh, I can't